Hello guys, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at uh, PIFX. I hope you all had a great holiday and I wish you all a fantastic and happy uh, 2019. Well, um, as you may saw, I've been on holiday as well. So the last couple of weeks we didn't have any weekly overview and now we are back on track as usual so while i roll the intro and disclaimer hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel do not forget to subscribe see you over there so welcome back guys a quick look at the calendar for the next week finally we do have uh, real liquidity will be back uh, next week as traders um, are back from holidays and everyone is on desk we had a couple of weeks of trading with uh, less liquidity and there was a lot of spike and those are easy done when uh, there is not much traders on their desk so uh, for next week we are looking for mostly is uh, for Wednesday where we have uh, a lot of uh, important news for the CAD and um, it's an uh, overnight rate the press conference the BOC press conference the rate statement and after that we do have the FOMC meeting minutes on Thursday Fed Chair Powell to speak again and as you may be so last week uh, the uh, Fed Chair Powell was uh, a bit dovish and we're going to talk about that on the chart later why and what happened and on Friday uh, GDP month on month for the sterling and manufacturing production after that from the US the CPI and core CPI numbers which also also very important to keep an eye at so uh, yeah that was it for the calendar to look for uh, for the next week and let's take a look at the chart so as usual we start with the Dixie and we are on the weekly time frame and once again uh, the Dixie testing this uh, 200 moving average on the weekly and and um, try to break below but uh, the break uh, did fail what it's important here that we start seeing that this um, this move to the upside here was a very strong push here to then get a retest or a correction down and one was expecting that we maybe break above here and continue higher now uh, the break did not happen and as we see right now the last couple of months on the dollar that we, we we're losing momentum the, the uh, the momentum to the upside is start to um, is fading and uh, we have here uh, three uh, bearish weeks in a row um, now there was not um, a strong momentum in these uh, three weeks but still it is um, a loss of momentum at this important level and uh, the RSI on the weekly is also showing uh, weakness uh, going lower and lower and giving us a uh, bearish uh, divergence. And uh, last week we closed on the RSI below the 50 uh, here, which is also signaling possible um, weakness on the dollar. So this was for the weekly. If we go down to the daily, we see also that we start having some kind of uh, rounded top up here. And what's very interesting structure wise is uh, that we this was our uh, high after that we uh, broke below the lows here to make a lower low then another lower high and last week we got another lower low and a lower high so it seems like um, we having this rounded top here and uh, there is a possibility that we see a deeper correction to the downside on the dollar um, especially after um, uh, the the uh, dovish comments that we got from uh, uh, Paul last week and um, if you look at the four hour time frame um, we had um, we've got the uh, NFB numbers I think it's better to look at it at the one hour actually here we got the this candidate was the NFB uh, release and uh, it was uh, great numbers if you look at that on the calendar here you see that we had uh, what's very very interesting was the 
average hourly earnings, which was uh, 0.4, much higher than uh, the previous and higher than expectation. Uh, another major thing was uh, the uh, the NFP headline numbers, which was a very very high number, as you see, 312k. Expectation was way below that. Um, so there was a couple of very important good numbers here, uh, and we saw that the employment rate. Uh, unemployment rate sorry was a little bit higher but still below four percent which is very low so the the um, average hourly earning is picking up since uh, all companies are fighting about the employees that are left out there and they want to um, give them more and more to stay with them so what we've got was this initial move was to the upside everything was looking good and um, we reached all the way to uh, daily r1 to then get the um, president uh, the fed chair powell um, speaking and um, there was some dovish comment from his side and the market uh, read that as a very dovish uh, signal and that's why we've got this uh, reversal all the way back below the uh, nfp number release so that's what happened and that why we had the, this spike now um, for the next week um, as i said earlier uh, even on the four hour we're still not breaking any major uh, high uh, in my opinion this was a major high here that did not got broken we all what happened here during the NFP release was a retest of the 200 moving average on the four hour, which been broken and we're still trading below it uh, since uh, th since here. Uh, we've got some retested and uh, last week was also another retest to then uh, keep pushing uh, below that. So this range here is uh, back in play and uh, uh, there is a possibility that if the price uh, managed to break back back below this level to keep seeing some more weakness uh, on the dollar so um, that is um, the possibility we have since the structure is now on the four hour at least as you see we, we have uh, lower highs lower lows another lower high and there is a possibility for a another one um, even next week especially if uh, we keep uh, seeing the same uh, sentiment uh, ongoing um, for the dollar to keep um, holding up i think uh, we need to see it back above the 97 area um, if that happened then there is a possibility for a longer term continuation to the upside so 97 is key um, resistance now and uh, where the price is sitting right now is also a uh, possible key support below that the next level could be the 95.70 and um, <coughs> more down is around the ms2 um, monthly s2 uh, pivot level okay so what i see right now on the dollar is uh, uh, on the technical side uh, possible uh, weakness showing on and um, as I said, since the, the Fed uh, seems to be a little bit do more dovish now, uh, there is a possibility for some more downside. Uh, if we look at the gold, we see that it doing what it has to do when you have a um, um, strong dollar, um, the uh, 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 sorry, strong gold and a little bit weaker dollar. Um, you see that we we reach it uh, all the way almost toward this uh, key resistance level which is the um, 1303 uh, this area here in my opinion is a, a major resistance level so gold uh, trading back above uh, the 200 uh, uh, weekly moving average and uh, been pushing up since then we broke above it we retested and uh, we kept pushing higher um, and this uh, main move here was uh, based on uh, the weakness in in the stock market and that gold uh, was back again a safe haven and that's why we've got this major push to the upside so um, 
pretty interesting level i was expecting it to to reach this level before uh, any reversal we're still uh, not really there yet uh, but uh, last friday um, we've got um, a strong drop after uh, testing uh, around the uh, 1299 area uh, to then uh, drop back down especially after the NFP release we've got um, a continuation to the downside to then get uh, the speech from Powell and uh, another push higher um, bullish gold still on uh, both um, daily and uh, weekly time frames and uh, I would like to see some correction to the downside the RSI is at the overbought uh, as well on the daily so um, a correction back down toward uh, 1261 uh, or 1260 area could be a possible level um, to buy at uh, as well um, for our time frame you see that um, we still even on this time frame looking pretty bullish yeah but uh, one should uh, want to see some more uh, correction to the downside and uh, this area here as i said the 1260 around the monthly pivot point uh, down here is uh, a possible first level to look at uh, for a possible bounce so if we follow this area here we got resistance support bin support here as well uh, so it is uh, an interesting level that uh, been acting as good uh, both uh, support and resistance um, so uh, a, a deeper correction would be a good level to look for a possible continuation at uh, the uh, area up here uh, 1303 until up here the 1300 or 1310 is a key uh, resistance level that we may see uh, some correction from as well for the oil um, we go to the weekly as well and see that we did reach this uh, major support level that I've been mentioning many times in my weekly overview so uh, support here uh, support 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 it is very very interesting level around the 93 area and uh, that we got uh, we tested that level after that last week we broke and closed above the high of this uh, uh, this candle here which forming a uh, morning star formation which is a reversal level and uh, if we compare this uh, bullish candle here we had last week uh, compared to um, uh, all the bullish candle we had <laughs> previously there is not many of them we have two weeks here and we have all these so um, we need to go back all the, all the way until june 18 to find such a bullish uh, candle uh, the body of it the strength of it so um, there is um, some signal that the bulls may be really um, entering now and uh, that we may be uh, found some kind of bottom at this important uh, support level uh, so there is a possibility that we keep pushing higher on the weekly time frame based on this we still have lower lows and lower highs so it is still a bearish market but do not forget that we did reach a major support level and that we may get some deeper corrections um, as you see here on the daily chart when we reach this level we've got this pretty strong bullish engulfing candle some correction down and continuation that we uh, broke above this neckline so what we could do now is uh, use this area where we broke this neckline as a possible uh, level to look for um, a buy if we uh, got a retest down here to these areas could be a possible level to look for a buy if this now uh, to continue the reversal and uh, push once again toward the 51 area which is also um, a possible um, good resistance level uh, the more important and uh, interesting level could be these highs up here or around the yearly pivot point uh, of uh, the 2019 yearly pivot point um, so uh, there is a possible uh, reversal here could be uh, the start of that especially now when we broke uh, this uh, neckline
<coughs> UUSD, uh, let's go to the weekly again. And uh, even here we see that the 200 uh, weekly moving average still acting as support. Last week we tested that almost to the pip at the same level we had the monthly S1 got tested and then pushed back up from this level so the 200 weekly moving average is still acting as a great dynamic support now if we go down to the daily we see that we tested this important area support 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 all the way here been supported so um, even though we got this very strong bearish candle we tested this major support level to then find support at monthly s1 and as i showed you at that time the weekly 200 moving average was at that level as well and we've got the push from this uh, key support level so it is a very interesting support level the market's still a sideways market as you see we are ranging here for a while a couple of months uh, if we just gonna count these but if you want to see all the way here it's like from since october since we reached this level here we've been ranging uh, inside this area so key support still the monthly s1 down here 1.13 uh, 15 area key resistance up here uh, 1.1480 uh, is uh, the key resistance and that need to be broken for more upside this need to be broken for more downside if we lower to a four hour time frame we see that uh, range more clearly that <coughs> we are right now in the middle of that range as you see and uh, when we reach the middle of the ranges usually we, we things start getting choppy as as we have here so um, in my opinion any retest toward this level would be a great level to look for uh, a bounce and if we reach these highs up here uh, is very interesting level to see uh, if we're gonna get a short term bounce at least or if we're going to break and continue to the upside a break above this uh, this here could mean that we uh, may keep pushing higher uh, um, if that happened I think we may if the break up here happened I think we may break above the monthly R1 and keep pushing higher toward uh, monthly R2 and these highs up here actually um, if we look at the 200 moving average on the four hour also we see that been acting as good uh, support and resistance and now we uh, broke above it and holding above it at the, the four hour uh, time frame so um, those are the levels for uh, euro usd those are the area that you should keep an eye at okay guys um oops i for i was actually going to mention something that i forgot uh, and uh, let's uh, talk about it right now that um the registration to the course is still ongoing i have six seats left uh, I still have the $400 offer if you use uh, the coupon code CHRISTMAS when you register. So the price, um, the next time you're going to join, anyone going to join this course, the price is going to be uh, $8.99. But if you use uh, this uh, coupon code down here, when you register for the course, you will uh, have it uh, for only $4.99. And this is the last time uh, the course start is um, during January. So the date, the exact date is not set yet. But uh, as soon as I have um, like uh, the right number to start the course, we will get started and we will end the offer. So if you're still in the th uh, thinking process, hurry up and join now. I uh, can promise you. Uh, to take you the next trading level uh, in your uh, trading career and uh, you could uh, go to the testimonials and read what other uh, students that uh, took the course uh, saying about uh, the course we're doing a fantastic job here and uh, really really everyone is uh, having uh, great results after doing the course uh, but <clears throat> take your time read the testimonials <clears throat> if you're not sure and uh, yeah um, do something 
and invest in yourself in 2019. Now when we got that out of the way, let's keep going. Sterling USD. We're going to look at the weekly time frame on that as well. As you know, we had this um, pretty strong uh, flash crash uh, last week on many currencies. The sterling was one of them. And um, we uh, saw the drop all the way back down to this previous support level that we had on the chart, almost to the pip where it found support and uh, pushed back up all the way to this area. So there's a lot of discussions. It was Apple, it was that, it was this, but it was a, a very strong drop in a thin market and that what happened. So that's why those of you who do not use stop loss uh, need to reconsider those plans, guys, because you don't want to be on the wrong side when such a thing happened. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Now, uh, many traders ask me, what do you do about these uh, wicks? How, how you consider them? In my opinion, after this now, and since everything went back up above the previous support level that we were working with in the same day, I am not looking at this week as a um, significant significant any anymore especially that we were trading in a very thin market when this happened it was during asian session it was during um, japanese having holiday uh, the japanese market was closed so what i'm looking at now um, how to consider this is actually the body i will use the body of this scandal as uh, the open and the close which is important for me so in this case still the 1.26 is the major support level that i will consider in the continuation of this uh, of this uh, chart so once again uh, we are back above that uh, 12 uh, sorry 1.26 uh, and um, yeah uh, once again, if we uh, do a retest toward this level, this is still my sub key support level where I uh, may be looking for a possible bounce back to the upside from this area. Toward the upside here uh, as a possible key resistance is uh, still our uh, previous high up here. Um, 1.28 um, area is a key resistance and that if broken then we should be looking for a possible continuation especially if we see the Dixie um, breaking below as I showed you at the start of this uh, video so if that happened then there is a possibility for this to keep pushing higher now it is a sterling pair and that means you should be looking at those uh, Brexit headlines. Yeah, no, not forget about that. Um, USD Jappy, same situation. All that um, spike uh, happened at the same time with a, Jappy, a Japanese market closed, thin market, etc. Holidays. And we've got this uh, flash crash after Apple. Uh, um, warning for um, declining sale, sales in the China and the Apple stock went down 8% and such a huge uh, chalk, uh, stock as Apple. Uh, it make a uh, lot of uh, difference when uh, a stock like that move very fast in a thin market uh, during Asian market. Um, where uh, many investor was selling uh, Apple and uh, uh, running toward uh, safe haven which uh, the jappy is one of them so uh, we reach it all the way down to our uh, lowest low here uh, touch it that at around the uh, 1 104.63 area to then find support at this very important technical level and pushed back up all the way above uh, 108 so on the daily <coughs> It looks like this. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It looks like this on daily. We are back above the monthly S1, and this is a very important level. So we need to hold above the monthly S1, and if that happened, 
then there is a possibility that we uh, may see uh, more upside from here so what i'm looking for is a possible consolidation above this uh, monthly s1 area to then see if we're gonna have the break above this uh, consolidation here that would mean a possible push back up toward the 110 area but uh, it's very important that we look and see if this consolidation gonna happen that would mean that uh, the price got accepted at this level especially with uh, the the liquidity should be back in the market now so if that happened and we hold above monthly s1 uh, give us that consolidation and break to the upside that will be a possible um, short-term trade at least to the upside but once again if we look at the daily before this spike we had a pretty uh, strong sell-off anyway on uh, the USD Jappy and we were looking to see if this um, old support gonna hold again but uh, since all that happened during this flash crash the market was not not respecting anything until it was very overextended and reached uh, this major low down here so uh, it was um, already a pretty bearish market here um, there's i at the oversold <clears throat> and uh, what we want to see now when the real liquidity is back if um, bulls will uh, take it from here and uh, keep pushing higher to do at least a correction toward these broken level that never got retested yeah so that was what i'm counting on to see uh, this possible correction to the upside especially if we see some more continuation in the stock market to the upside and that uh, maybe gold uh, making that deeper correction down if those two things happens at the same time that should mean that uj may give you this correction to the upside toward these levels up here yeah <clears throat> usd chief very very um <laughs> choppy despite the direction is still down but it is a bit hard traded i mean go short then it correct all the way up then it go all the way back down correct all the way up all the way back down and then it corrects all the way up so yeah the main direction right now is still uh, more downside than upside but uh, it is a bit hard traded as you see we um, it is not a healthy trend yet because a lot of choppiness happening here and if we go to the four hour you see it very clearly how we've been uh, bouncing around yeah <clears throat> and uh, what happened here we've got another micro range that we we should be looking for um, as you see here since uh, we broke back above this uh, support level um, and this coming from a way um, far here we can go even more left and see that this market at this level been acting as good support and resistance yeah <clears throat> so we are back above that and uh, <clears throat> what i'm what i'm looking for here is uh, if we gonna keep holding this um, support level and do another push higher or if we're gonna break back below it's uh, very interesting especially if we break below these lows down here that will open the door for uh, much more downside here so on the four hour time frame br um, strong push uh, below here correction another push below correction which was a deep correction and another push lower we're still trading below the 200 uh, moving average on the four hour i would um, recommend to use this as your filter the 200 moving average on the four hour been acting very nice dynamic support and resistance right now pretty nice resistance uh, here on this uh, moving average so one could be using that to keep following uh, this market uh, on the retest to maybe sell it <clears throat> if you get um, a retest to the moving average without a break above it yeah um, Aussie USD 
also uh, very very uh, deep uh, push here on this on the uh, flash crash so if we look on the weekly you see where we tested actually on that on that uh, day we went all the way down here to the monthly s2 below uh, the last low here it was pretty strong push to the downside to then push back up and close once again above uh, this uh, star uh, candle here so i will be thinking the same here uh, i will forget about uh, the wick i will not consider it as if it is not here at all and use the body of the candle as support levels now what's interesting here that the strength of these couple of candles compared to anything before them is very very strong so it is a clear signal that the bulls really mean it um, now again was it a thin market and this is um, only a push with uh, no one else is trading could be a good question but in any case next week we know that the liquidity is back and uh, I will be looking for first off uh, the first level I am I will be watching is down here this uh, previously been acting as good support level if uh, that tested to look for bullish evidence and maybe another push uh, higher toward a monthly pivot point this could be a good area even though if we reach also toward monthly s1 uh, to uh, this area where this uh, flash crash started uh, also could be an area of a possible uh, support to look for another bounce but uh, i'm more interested of uh, this level here uh, to look for a possible bounce to the upside from this area now when we broke above these highs broke above uh, a structure an important structure here so things are uh, pretty interesting after this break here uh, in the past we had a uh, strong push flag another push flag another push flag and another push now we have another situation the whole uh, structure is uh, totally different the bulls are showing real strengths here so uh, pretty interesting to see if we test here and uh, get a possible bullish evidence to uh, take a trade from this area usd cad also pretty uh, weak after testing uh, this uh, area up here i will go to the weekly and show you where we are so uh, we've been testing a pretty interesting level here uh, we've tested uh, this major level after uh, this um, all time high almost up here we've got a strong push lower a long time correction to then get another push lower and we almost getting the same structure as we had here yeah and the question is um, is this the start of the move to the downside i think it could be i mean this major bearish candle here happening at this level with RSI was at the extreme over overbought um, ha and a uh, evening star formation after this could um, could mean that we may push lower at least back down uh, toward this level here or maybe a continuation toward the bottom of this uh, channel so on the daily you see it clearly here after um, losing uh, the momentum to the upside we pushed lower first day second day and the third day uh, if oil keep pushing higher and really do that reversal at the level we mentioned that will keep giving this more strength to the downside we also have the um, rate decision the statement and the bo boc um, boc press conference on wednesday to keep an eye at very very important um, all that could mean um, a continuation here uh, and just by looking at these three bearish days compared to any bearish move uh, in the past you need to go uh, far back to find such a bearish and strong bearish move so 
um, it could be a really strong uh, continuation down the question is um, are we selling already here or are we waiting for some more correction as you see on the four hour we just reached the 200 moving average which been acting as good dynamic support and resistance in the past we actually broke below it there was no profit taking at all uh, to see at least a short-term bounce uh, that was also showing that no one was interested to close their trade <laughs> seems so um, but I think after uh, on in the short term this is a uh, extended move on the four hour time frame and the one hour time frame it is a an extended move and I would like to see some more correction to the upside uh, before selling the first level I would be looking for is around the monthly pivot point uh, which is uh, at this uh, level here where we do have some structure that could be the first area to look for a bearish evidence at even better if we uh, test this uh, neckline up here to try to short it that would give us a much better risk to reward but uh, when uh, <coughs> such a strong move happens as if the trend is really to continue strong uh, sometimes you do not uh, get those uh, deeper corrections uh, all the way up here who know that may happen and if it happens that would be even better because our risk to reward is would be much much better and we maybe could target all the way down here if we find uh, bearish uh, evidence at this level um, okay so but what let's take it one step at a time keep an eye on this level as first possible area if it got tested New Zealand USD also showing some uh, strengths last week after reaching a monthly S1 down here and uh, this uh, neckline area now if we if we take a Fibonacci retracement from the bottom here all the way up to the top we see also that we had the uh, 618 uh, Fibonacci retracement at this level we had previous structure we had the monthly s1 so pretty interesting area to see the reversal at and the same thing here um, looking um, at this whole move to the downside this day here was the first time we had such a big bullish candle and that the day after we've got another break above it and even a break above previous high that didn't happen in the past during the move to the downside and that showing that uh, a possible signal of um, a, a at least a um, short-term reversal at this level so what i'm looking for is a possible continuation up we do have this minor trend line at the up here and um, yeah i would be looking if we got a retest toward this level down here around the 50 percent um, for a possible uh, continuation now after we broke previous high here we broke all these highs here um, that we may keep uh, pushing higher toward at least monthly pivot point and uh, these previous levels up here and uh, if we break above these highs and the trend line then of course the next uh, market objective should be uh, the yearly pivot point up uh, around uh, this area okay so uh, that what i'm looking for on this pair especially after this strong push to the upside now if we look at the weekly we need to consider th uh, something very important that on the weekly we still uh, have a higher high here and this we want to know if this our uh, first higher low now um, we've been pushing lower all the way with lower lows and lower highs but this was the first time we've got a major high high breaking above all these and what i want to know if this our first major higher low and to confirm that i want to see next week closing uh, above um, the week before and if that happened that will um, confirm a possible higher low and uh, what we also need to consider that this area is still a major resistance level 
um, since previously been acting as major support level so that's why i'm considering a possible market objective to retest this area but that is the level also that you may consider to take some profit if all happen as we think um, Aussie CAD also on the weekly you see that we tested uh, all the way back down here on the flash crash and before that we have this major resistance uh, support that could act resistance but the market did push all the way to, to the weekly 200 moving average and start going down now on the daily time frame we see that we broke below this structure and uh, after the flash crash we pushed all the way back up i think the market objective is um, at least a possible retest toward this uh, major resistance down uh, what i want to see what will happen if this market reach this area or these highs if we're gonna get bearish evidence and push one more time to the downside or if we're gonna break above this high this gonna be a pretty interesting level to watch for next week this area here since we have a break below a retest and are we going for the continuation is what uh, interesting me for next week so keep an eye on that as uh, support i will be using this structure here around the monthly s2 as a possible level to look for a possible uh, support at i will not be looking at the wick once again just this area as my support level new zealand cat <clears throat> also um done what was expected i did publish an idea here you could go and watch that it was a video idea about new zealand cad and the possibility of uh, this move to the downside and um, it really done what was expected here because looking at the daily we had so many tests to this uh, major structure and we could not break it to then break below this uh, major neckline here uh, which uh, send us all the way to uh, this uh, trend line and support area yearly pivot point uh, of 2019 is down here monthly s2 is also down here and when we go down to the four hour time frame we see that we broke first off this trend line and now we broke also uh, the outer trend line and trading below the 200 moving average so what i'm looking for here if we're gonna break below previous structure to then uh, retest and continue this have a huge potential to the downside if this scenario happened the uh, trade after the break once again we need to see the break uh, happening could look something like uh, like this uh, stop loss could be above the 200 moving average on the four hour and above the structure okay or a small position with a stop loss above this uh, monthly pivot point and this structure up here also still could give you a good risk to reward trade even uh, if you take the bigger uh, the wider stop loss with a smaller position or a bigger position with a stop loss somewhere above uh, the monthly s1 and the 200 moving average when uh, this continues the moving average could start uh, also um, showing to the downside yeah so a huge uh, potential here could be the start of uh, the reversal and uh, that's what i really uh, be watching for next week aussie jappy also one of the biggest crashes uh, ever here and uh, yeah as you see on the weekly time frame we were testing a major area with nothing beneath it so what happened here was this drop all the way toward this area below that you see it is an empty area there is nothing there and um, what happened was of course that we pushed back all the way up and the day after we continued so 
I am expecting a possible continuation. It, it will be pretty interesting to see uh, the retest of this level if we're gonna get a bearish evidence and another push lower. So that what I'm looking for on the four hour time frame if this uh, to continue up i think it is time for a some correction back down i would be looking around the monthly s1 or down here the body of these candles before the flash crash to act as possible support if that happened then there is a possible push from this level as well euro aussie also pretty interesting if we look at the weekly you see that we reach it almost all the way to this high up here still we do not have any close above this major high um, very strong uh, bearish engulfing on the weekly and uh, the daily it looks like this is this up here is still our major resistance despite this week let's just pretend that there is nothing here so that means this is still our level of resistance and now what happened was that we broke below a uh, previous low so this is showing a potential continuation to the downside i think at least toward the, the 200 daily moving average and this previous structure pretty interesting structure here as a possible market objective at least so the trend line is now broken the neckline is broken this slow is broken the question is are we gonna have a correction back up before the next move down or not that is what i'm looking for i want to see a correction at least back to this uh, area where we have the neckline before uh, the next push lower so that's what i'm watching for next week and uh, since uh, there is no signals of profit taking it's hard to know if uh, we're gonna got we're gonna get that correction um, pretty soon or if it will keep just dropping um, euro new zealand almost the same scenario here we reach it what i'm looking for on the weekly that we broke below previous structure here so this is our lower low and we're gonna see if this is gonna be our lower high for another push lower so a pretty interesting uh, level here where the market uh, did reverse at last week we had uh, the neckline we have a yearly pivot point of 2019 at this level and as you see uh, the rejection from this level so on the daily we uh, did a strong push to then lose momentum lose momentum test again the 200 moving average at this level 50 percent fibonacci retracement also at that area yearly pivot point many confluence previous structure pretty interesting level uh, did a fake out and then pushed lower and uh, my uh, <clears throat> view here that we may continue uh, to the downside especially if we break below this previous low and the monthly pivot point down here that could mean uh, that we may test uh, this structure down here as a possible market objective so that's what i'm looking for uh, next week here um, we have uh, broken uh, this uh, neckline but what's pretty interesting is still uh, we, i want to see if this level gonna get broken but um, if we go down to the one hour time frame uh, and um, try to find some structure to work with i would say this area up here as a first possible level of uh, retest um, we have the 200 moving average of on the one hour also at that level we have this previous structure so um, if we retest this area I would be looking for a possible bearish evidence and continuation from that level as well we could also talk, uh, take a fibonacci retracement from the highest high to the lowest low and uh, <coughs> our 38.2 happened to be at that level as well as possible confluence so pretty interesting level to look for a possible reversal at euro swedish krona we still have this idea it is still alive this is an old idea that i did publish somewhere here 
you could also um, take a look on that idea but uh, it is st still alive despite that we're going sideways uh, the stop losses uh, areas still valid and um, this could be still your first uh, plan and this is the second plan after breaking this structure so this idea is still valid we've been trading below the daily 200 moving average for a while having very hard time to break above it we broke below pre last week previous low and the lows are getting lower here as you see and uh, here and the lower high here so this idea is still valid and i am still um, trying to catch uh, every uh, move to the upside to uh, try to keep shorting um, and uh, the killer gonna be when we break below this structure that will open as you see there is nothing on the way uh, that will open all the way to target too so keep an eye on this idea it is still valid and it's up to you when uh, and where to enter right now on the four hour we move it to another box here we had previously this area and now we are uh, in the lower uh, box here as you see and um, looking pretty interesting still um, it is uh, losing momentum and keep pushing lower <clears throat> sterling jappy also one of those uh, market that did crash hardly uh, last week on the flash crash we see that we reach it almost all the way down here to the lows of uh, 2016 October and it is a pretty interesting area looking at the uh, 95 uh, 1995 levels um, down here so uh, pretty interesting um, what happened that we broke everything almost and uh, the question is are we gonna keep pushing lower or not so what I'm looking for is um, when we if we're gonna reach around the monthly s2 up here and this previous structure this is a key uh, support uh, sorry resistance level that i am watching if we're gonna get bearish evidence and another push lower there is also a possibility for a counter trend trade here uh, but um, that need to be um, confirmed if this market push lower back down toward this area if the bodies of these candles gonna hold as support then there is a possibility for a counter trend trade here from uh, this level again i will not be looking at the wick i will just be looking at the levels here the bodies of these candles as the key low to watch as a possible support structure wise on the four hour we still have lower lows and lower highs so it is still um, a bearish market despite uh, everything um, and that's why i am watching this structure here as possible resistance uh, the dow <coughs> On the weekly you see that we tested also an area of um, possible support here before uh, the bounce and we are back above uh, this structure here on the weekly time frame on the daily you see that we had a very strong push a possible higher low right now uh, the first higher low since we had this very strong drop to the downside and uh, it's pretty interesting i want to see if we're gonna break above this previous high and hold this level here if uh, this structure uh, gonna hold as support then there is a possibility to keep pushing toward these areas around the yearly pivot point and maybe higher so on the four hour time frame we see that we had this new momentum here we reach it to the trend line broke above it retested to then keep pushing higher but still no major break above this structure so i want to see a clear break above here if that happened and then the continuation to the upside is very very possible 
Um, so uh, yeah, that what we're looking at. We need to trust this new momentum, and especially next week uh, with a uh, better liquidity uh, in the market. Every move that happened uh, should have uh, better volume in it. But we should also consider this very strong bullish candles, very strong bullish momentum happening now. We didn't have anything like that on the whole move to the downside. Um, FTSE also uh, tested a pretty important support level here on the weekly. You see that below this area here, when we tested these lows below that, we don't have anything until we start talking about these lows down here. Of course, we had this uh, neckline, uh, but that is also now uh, almost got tested on this uh, move uh, when we did the dip here. So it is an interesting level, especially the structure and could uh, act as a strong support and be defended. So on the daily, we are now testing a pretty interesting level, a possible uh, resistance area. But looking at the bullish candles, they look pretty interesting. And I am uh, looking for a possible continuation if we break above to then keep pushing higher toward monthly R1 and uh, test this uh, major flip zone of support and resistance up here. This is a pretty interesting level that could be the high of the range here uh, for uh, this month. Uh, but of course, we want to see if uh, this break will happen to then continue up toward this uh, old and up, um, upper range we had here. And uh, almost the same on the, um, the DAX. The DAX guys, I gave you this idea for a long time now that we're gonna, if we break, look for the three test and the continuation. This is done now. And you see on the weekly that we tested this important support level. We had another support level just below that as well uh, to use a, as a possible buy level. And um, yeah, what's interesting here is uh, if we're gonna hold above the monthly pivot point, if that happened, there is a possibility for this market as well to push higher toward uh, monthly R1 and the 200 moving average on the weekly once again to test this level. Looking at the RSI, we was at the extreme over oversold and now we start pushing higher um, daily. We have uh, this very strong bullish engulfing. We broke above this previous high, but what is very interesting is still this high up here. This is uh, the high that if broken, that will signal a push all the way up toward monthly R1 and this area of uh, flip zone of support and resistance, yeah? So, um, the support level is um, legit and um, we on the four hour last week we broke above uh, this interesting neckline so i am looking to see if we're gonna get a retest to that level and if we're gonna get bullish evidence to then keep following this new momentum for another push higher this up here may act as first um, trouble area but if uh, we breaks above the 200 moving average on the four hour, that will signal a push all the way up here toward this major level that I mentioned on the weekly and the daily. So uh, yeah, that was uh, the last uh, market and um, a bit longer session, but um, to cover as many market as possible for you guys to start your trading year with um that was important to do a longer session so uh, thanks a lot and uh, see you next week um, in uh, another weekly market overview bye bye